Alright, so I could not find a speedrun of Not A Crawl on YouTube after a cursory search, so I will make one. Uh, no promises that it's going to be good, but uh, it is going to be a speedrun. So first thing, we gotta turn you on. Access this gate here. Now, in a speed run, um, the left screen over here is almost completely useless. Uh, we don't need to turn it on at all, ever, during a speed run. It does give you, like, administrative administration. Uh, administrative information. Now we are going to go to Worker 44 because we need his Heraldry Scrambler. There he is. Let's just take all this and then we go to the Crystal Tower. Uh, and then we want to put on the Heraldry Scrambler. And at some point we should get a radio broadcast that tells us about the tower. Okay, I'm going to need to cloak past this guy. That's alright. Seems like it's on the other side of this. Okay, yeah, this should tell us about the lighthouse. So, let's turn you off, because we don't need you. This is a pretty fast first level. There's three levels in the game, basically, in a speedrun. And this one was pretty decently quick. I'm gonna use the damn crystal. There we go. <clears throat> the second level is where we get the knot accumulator, which is basically our gun. You can use to kill things. Uh, and the third level is just the final boss. Switch over to the Zeppelin mode now. Okay. Just press random buttons. Really doesn't matter which like order of buttons you press, it always summons the merchant. He always flies in from the farthest corner of the screen, it seems like, so... It's a fairly decent starting point. It's kind of near the center line. Could be more towards the middle, obviously, but... Now we ask about the lighthouse. And we just make a deal. Uh, and then we unhook. And he gives us the map. Oops. And now we want to go to Rockford Isle. Waterfort Refuge. Never mind. I lied. And it is in the very corner of the map. So. 
but it's not very far. Hopefully, um, the last level isn't very far from this either. Hopefully, it's like up here or something. Really want to make it at least halfway before I. Ugh. I don't know if I'm going to make it there. I might have to pull the... our altitude. Might have to go up a little bit before we uh, land. That's alright. Yeah, I'm going to have to do this. Just a little bit. can land on Waterfort Refuge, or whatever it's called. And here, we're looking for... the Royal Arsenal. So, let's start with our cloak. kill those guys. I think I am going to connect to this guy. See if we can't get any extra batteries because we need multiple extra batteries. Uh, we did get a battery. And I will take this as well. So, uh, I think we can turn off the cloak now, probably. Alright, well, let's just go ahead a couple of them. Whoops, I forgot to turn the cloak on. That's alright. You know what, I'm actually going to connect to this guy. See if we can't get any extra batteries. Uh, yes, I will take battery. And battery. Uh, and I'm going to be out of fuel, yeah. Okay, he saw me because my, um, cloak wasn't active. It's okay, you, you get a turn before they kill you. This guy right here is going to be a dickhead, though. I'm going to try to cloak past him. I think it might actually be on this side. There it is. Uh, it seems like we could have gone in either direction. Dickhead. I didn't even see him there. Yeah, we could have gone out of the direction. It wouldn't have really mattered. So you steal the not accumulator and a couple of fuels. Um, how much batteries do we have? Not a ton. Let us mount the not accumulator and then we have to go to the altar terminal seems like it's fairly close by I'm 
You always want to be going max speed whenever possible, obviously. This guy's gonna see me, so we are going to cloak. Come on, move out of the way. Alright, there is the altar terminal. I am actually going to... We kind of have to charge our battery a little bit. Yeah, he sees me. So I will go about here. Let's charge a teensy bit more. Okay, and we cannot, we don't need that on. Uh, I don't think I really need that one on. Uh, wait, yes I do. Um, we need to... Here we go. So, we have Z as the first one. W, uh, WY. There we go. And we are almost out of batteries, so what we can do to charge the batteries, you just go very slow, turn everything off. And you just hold the lever down for a couple of turns. Um, I'm gonna charge the battery here. Uh, we are out of fuel. That's not good. Alright, not terrible though. Whoops. Alright, uh, we're gonna charge the battery here a couple times. I don't think we need the cloak right now. Uh, now we need the cloak. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna kill my battery. Hold on. Alright, that should be everything, correct? Is that not everything? Did I miss one? I did. There we go. Should be down now. Yeah. All right, and now we unmount the not matrix accumulator. Connect to this thing and that's level two completed. I didn't mean to press that. That's oh, alright. We're gonna take the crystal. Now that we know where the lighthouse is, let's use the crystal and go back into Zeppelin mode.
and pray that we get a good boss fight because this has been a fairly decent run so far. Sky Zeppelin, one last time. Go there, please. That's actually fairly decent. Um... We are going to get a radiation storm. It seems like it always happens when you're going to the lighthouse. That's okay. This is a fairly decent, um, like it's not terribly far. Gain some more height here before we start going again. halfway there. I don't think we'll be able to make it in two more runs. So, radiation storm, you just have to wait for the cloud to turn back to normal and then you can go. Here. I don't think we'll be able to make it in one more. We're going to have to pull the... Uh, we're going to have to go up a little bit more again. Yeah, we're just not going to be able to make it. This time we should be able to make it. Alright, now we're at the lighthouse and we are coming up on the final boss. But first we have to find them. Over this way or this way? Find out. He's fairly close. I'm going to turn my cloak on. Uh, oh, and we also need to put the knot accumulator back on.
Can I hit him from here? No, I'm not going to be able to hit him from there. Whoops. So basically just have to follow him. And I will use one of our backup batteries. Might be able to get him. Nope. I just have to continue following him. Until he hits a wall or something. Uh, and unfortunately, we've ran out of fuel, so... Come on. Come on! Apparently he went this way? Okay, yeah, you have to reset the thing now. seem to have lost him. Okay, so he's not over here, he's this way. For sure. Maybe should have taken a little bit more fuel from that guy. There you are. Huh? Can I not hit him because the other guy's in the way? Guardian. There you are. Oh, you're my little bitch now. Just keep hitting him over and over until he dies. Remember, you can always charge the battery by doing the uh, cloak technique where you just turn everything off. He's got to be almost dead, right? Low not accumulator energy. Dang it. Oh, my battery's dead. That's what it is. That's right. Okay, so he's dead. And we connect to him. And now we have to find the lighthouse. 
which is unfortunately pretty far, so... But this is the end of the game here as well, so... Go around, huh? Where is it? Oh, yeah, it's very far. unfortunate lighthouse placement. There it is. Connect to this guy right there. Hey! There we go. Plug the key. And connect to the lighthouse. And... That is pretty much it. Um, so, just one last uh, little puzzle that we have to do. Go back to the Zeppelin one last time. I said the last time was the last time. I lied. But we're not going to go anywhere with the Zeppelin. We're just using it as the UI for the next... The final puzzle. place all the salt that we just got into the hypercharged crystal apparently Again, you're missing a lot of this game by watching the speed run. A bunch of it is just figuring out what all the different levers and buttons do. Um, I didn't even touch the left panel at all because I it's completely useless in a speed run. And that's the end of the game. I don't know exactly when to end it. I guess when it says detached is just the end of the game. Although there is actually one little button that you have to press after.
So I guess we'll have time when I push the last button. Or when the screen fades to black, I guess. Damn. Time. And that was not a crawl. Um, it's tragically short. I think it probably could have been several hours longer if they added more, like, different machines that you had to go into and different things that you had to learn how to do. But, yeah. That's about it. Thanks for watching.